Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. There is a formula for knowing God. That means that the pathway to the knowledge of God is not one that is dependent on creativity. I've taught you and it will, I will continue to repeat it again and again, that when it has to do with your walking with God, creativity is not required. What is required is obedience and alignment. You are not at liberty to choose your pathway. You are not at liberty to choose your formula. It is not given to a man to choose how he wants to know God. That privilege was never given to the saints. At no time was any man given the privilege to invent his way of knowing God. Are we together? Creativity only becomes useful when that kingly dimension, when it has to do with the revelation to creation now, to creation, that's where creativity comes as one of the doorways to manifesting dominion but as far as our work with god and our spiritual growth is concerned we are not given the liberty to choose the pathway the bible says ask for the ancient path and when you find it walk in it that means that your creativity is not required i say this because the man please listen man is like is like a raw material are we together and there is a process that god leads man through and the object what man should become is already known in the heart of the father are we together and the bible does not even hide it he already tells us who and what we should be like that means at the end of our journey we should become like an embodiment that is personified in jesus the christ are we together now so you pass a product from one end of the the machine or whatever it is and then you already have an expectation that if done well this is what should happen when a caterer or a chef gets to the kitchen to cook he or she already has an idea are we together of what the meal should become there is nobody who cooks properly and then does not have an idea and in many regards a clear picture of what the meal should become you don't have to wait for the food to cook to know what it should be from the start you already know are we together now many people can be with you in the kitchen there and not exactly know what because of the kind of combination but at the end, you must know what you should be. When a pilot is about to fly an airplane from one place to another, the pilot, although the pilot may not see where he's going most of the time, the pilot already knows that I'm flying from Lagos to Abuja. I'm flying from Lagos to Kaduna and so on and so forth. It is not only God that 
wants to that should know what we should be even the be should have an idea of what he should become transformation is almost impossible when there is no reference you cannot become nothing so your transformation must be based on a reference i can tell you why many believers do not grow because one we are ignorant of the methodologies of growth number two we do not even have an idea we know in theory that we should be like by telling me that i should be i should be like um so 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 and so person and now i don't know that person so how can i know what if you tell me to dress promise please stand if you tell me to dress like promise right i will have to come i will have to see him and see how he dressed and then try to replicate the dressing are we together but if i have not been able to see promise i do not know him it's going to be difficult for me it's a standard that is almost impossible not because the raw materials are out of reach but there is no reference so the bible says looking up to jesus and he calls jesus not just savior jesus has many names in the bible and one of the names as far as our transformation is concerned is the author and the finisher of our faith meaning that when you come into the faith life the kingdom life your gaze should continually be on jesus to refuse to be distracted by the vicissitudes of life and the things that can stem out of nowhere to set your gaze and focus on jesus christ and the bible says that now the lord is that spirit right he says where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then the bible goes further to say now we all with unveiled face beholding him not them not it money is it fame is it are we together promotion is it the bible says don't behold it you will get it but the object of your focus is beholding him as in a mirror he says we are changed from one dimension of glory to the other ever increasing glory even as by the spirit of the lord so the moment i set my gaze on jesus christ no matter what it is that happens once my gaze is fixed on him there is an assurance that eventually i will begin to look like the one that i'm gazing at and as far as i've read my bible i do not see anything in jesus that is not de desirable by men is it the crown upon his head is it the brightness of his glory is it the majesty that surrounds his throne the bible says if i look at it you know we want the things that are on in and around jesus and we want to get them looking away from him focusing on those things the throne room is a place of wealth and abundance the throne room is a place of majesty and splendor the throne room is a place of excellence the throne room is a place of power and so when i fix my eyes on jesus sooner or later you find out that you are looking at a man but then you are becoming him but not just him generically you are becoming every dimension of him you are seeing are we together so i fix my eyes on jesus and suddenly something begins to happen to my finances i fix my eyes on jesus something begins to happen to my influence i fix my eyes on jesus something begins to happen to my understanding i fix my eyes on jesus something begins to happen to my authority he says looking up to jesus and if you do not have an idea of who that jesus is then it is dangerous because there are many things if no one ever tried to be jesus or god in the bible it would be easy but now there are many gods in the bible and there are many saviors supposedly 
that means if you don't know the one you are looking for someone else can substitute him and say i am god and you will innocently look up to that person or that thing believing you are looking at god and you will be changed into that thing it's only that at the end you will look at your life and say this was not how i started there will be no representation of beauty and glory in your life are we together so pray a prayer before i start open my eyes oh lord grant me the miracle of open eyes open my eyes to see a man cannot see until your eyes are open hallelujah listen let me tell you this before we get to the word the more i know god and the more i study scripture the more i know what our problem is as men let me tell you one of the major problems of men we think revelation is something you get are we together we know that our lives are dependent on the light we have there is no place in scripture where a man was instructed to pursue light everywhere in scripture is light coming listen very carefully for as long as you believe you have the power to get light then the light of god will never come these truths that we teach they are very exact it's a body of spiritual knowledge that is given to you don't forget this scripture a man can receive nothing a man can receive nothing receive nothing until it is given what god does not send to you from heaven can never enter your hand so th there's no point seeking around your assignment when the bible says seek and you will find the idea is not to go around the word seek there in its root word is not to search as it were is really the word position yourself it's more of a posture than it is of a searching there are things you can never see by studies no this is beyond the realm of education this is beyond the realm of intellect although your intellect will participate in communicating it but it does not come from the realm of intellect there is a wisdom that is sophia human wisdom is a product of age and your exposure to science but there is a wisdom that comes from above are we together now so I, I i need you to understand that these spiritual things are not necessarily things that you learn true revelation comes you are made a partaker you fellowship with that mystery it's a fellowship you are called into it That's the reason why when you communicate that wisdom the dimension of this it's ancient is older than you predates you predates your christian experience and even predates your level of spiritual exposure it tells you that wisdom is coming from a realm that is older higher and more superior than you so really the prayer is not to to search around the prayer is to position yourself so that that light can come to you but when that light comes to you and you receive it according to the authority of scripture the bible says you must arise and shine if that light comes you can know when the light has come by the possibilities that are now captured in your life I will continue to teach us that our lives not necessarily immediately but our lives with time 
and that time is not forever and that time is not your lifetime your lifetime is too long with time because we operate by times and seasons it becomes unfair to expect everything to happen in your life in one day no you are not living in the realm of eternity you are living in the realm of time so many things in your life are time dependent they are time dependent for three reasons one there is a spiritual law called the law of process and so there are things in life that the speed has already been regulated by God your being serious with God or not cannot increase the speed it will happen within that time then there there is time that is regulated that is based on your insight and obedience so you can slow down and increase that pace of achievement based on the insights that comes to you and the application of that truth and then of course time can be regulated based on the hindrances the spiritual hindrances are we together yes and the spiritual hindrances are only three number one covenants number two disobedience number three um what's the third one demonic attack the devil can hinder you i desire to come to you once and again but satan hindered us so satan can hinder men so i don't expect that pastor femi in one day on hearing the truth of scripture no matter how accurate i do not expect you to enter into the experiential fullness of everything overnight in fact in fact if that happens to you is proof that something went wrong and jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men are we together ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me you would have just said all over the earth but he broke it into dimensions jerusalem samaria judea and to the utmost part of the earth so it's very very important but let me submit to you ask any man that has been granted access to the spirit of revelation if they are honest enough with you they will tell you it did not come from the abundance of the study of scripture the study of scripture is important it helps to prime your spirit man like you prime a pump but the real revelation comes from God to you it comes as light and then depends on the quality of your mental enlightenment to break it down into the truths that that light communicates God does not speak English God does not speak Greek he doesn't speak French he doesn't speak Spanish or Hausa or English he speaks light his language is light are we together yes and the only faculty of your tripartite being that can receive light is your spirit man so when that light comes upon your spirit man you have it but then it is not useful to you being locked up in the realm of the spirit and interfacing your spirit and your body where it is needed remember the earth realm is where all these spiritual realities are required they are not just required to remain in the realm of the spirit otherwise there will be no need for transformation once that light comes upon you that's enough but you need it translated here and now are we together and that technology of transfer is what we must learn the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light that you may know so you begin to have understanding and when you have understanding i've taught you that this body does not have power on its own are we together when your spirit leaves your body you are called dead dead means that your body is inactive 
so the body is a slave somewhat or better still the body is an executor the assignment of the body is to execute the conclusions of your spirit your soul whatever your body decides i mean whatever your spirit man decides or whatever is decided in the solical realm your body is now authorized to execute it so if my body continues to go to regions and continues to capture experiences that are destructive to the health of my life and my destiny the problem is not the body the problem is that something is happening in the realm of the spirit and if you are a believer then the problem is not from your spirit man the problem is from the solical realm that's where the battle is now why because he that is joined to christ is one spirit are, are you getting this listen what i'm showing you now are these are the fundamentals of christianity it's important that you know them it's amazing how many believers get born again and they are absolutely clueless about the faith life and we preachers have a lot of repentance to do in terms of the miscommunication of truths because we do not guide believers methodically we just randomly bring truths anyhow and so they continue to receive truths that are not progressive there is no synergy in their growth they cannot connect the usefulness of a revelation to another experience so they have many experiences but they are disjointed I can't see the relevance of this topic to this one there should be a sequence are we together yes there should be a sequence to your spiritual growth that means that come my dear that means I should be able to teach you something now and then you come you should hold her hands you should be able to connect what I taught you are we together like a ladder it should lead you to the next you stand here level of life and then I should connect you this is how growth happens if your truths are not sequential you will get a lot of spiritual information but not coordinated enough to reveal Christ in your life this is the tragedy of many believers so when I switch on your laptop I see many sermons I see many topics I see many um, exegesis of scripture theological dissertations that have come from different people different schools of ministry and so on and so forth and on the abundance of those information you can pride yourself to believe you are growing but the problem is that truths were supplied but not sequentially arranged are we together so somewhere in your spiritual life they taught you about prosperity you don't know where it fits in the graph somewhere in your spiritual life they taught you about character somewhere in your spiritual life they taught you about service in the house of god are we together somewhere come in your spiritual life they taught you about demonology deliverance warfare somewhere in your spiritual life they taught you about prayer are, 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 you, are you following me now somewhere in your spiritual life they taught you about whatever it is now these informations are all useful but you find out that you have them yet your life does not testify that you have light the problem is not the scarceness of light the problem is the sequential arrangement of truth notice how jesus began to teach the people jesus officially started his mentorship with what we call the beatitudes it was an exe exegesis on the kingdom life gradually he began to lead them then he started getting deeper he got to a point that was so deep people ran away and he said will you also go he said to whom shall we go you alone have the words of life by the time we get to john 14 15 he's now introducing the holy spirit never did he introduce the holy spirit before that time then he got to a point where Jesus himself was almost frustrated. He said, I have many things to tell you, but ye cannot capacity, capacity. You don't have the capacity to bear them. He says, how be it? No cause for concern. When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you. He didn't say he will give you truth. Many people want to get truth. They don't want to be guided in truth. Listen carefully. You can get truth 
but when you are guided you are shown the sequential arrangement of truth in a way and manner that can stamp the gates of hell this is where the problem is there is almost nothing you will tell an average believer that he's hearing for the first time it may just be in a more with more theological accuracy or with more intellectual prowess but the central thought is almost always known yet our results our lives are not looking for new things our lives are looking for a rearrangement a sequential arrangement something you knew before prosperity is why prosperity does not bless you are you getting what i'm saying now something that you should not hear there there are messages that you were supposed to hear first before hearing about success and since you did not hear it what is now light has turned to a sword that is killing you it is for this cause that he gave unto some apostles and prophets are we together an evangelist and pastors and teachers are we together now and then the bible says for the equipping the perfecting the word perfecting there is the maturing of the saints when you give birth to a baby a number of us here have children at the back we have our lovely children they are enjoying the comfort of the first days and months of their lives now only a wicked mother will give birth to a child and carry stockfish and put it in the mouth of that child or carry um, cow tail are we together it doesn't mean cow tail is destructive to someone else that's an answered prayer at a level you will sit down and pray and god will supply but now cow tail will be required in that baby's life but somewhere but now when you give the child cow tail you give the child every kind of thing you will soon find out that your child is dead what killed the child food food did you ever learn that food can kill it's not only poison that kills it is not only wrong things that kill good things not arranged sequentially can kill the prosperity of fools shall destroy them it is not the prosperity is that that guy was a fool he needed to be wise first so you the word of god that was allocated to translate him from the realm of foolishness to wisdom and what is wisdom the bible says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom so you taught that guy about prosperity and you did not inculcate in him the fear of god you watch what he would do to his mother or father when the money comes what i'm sharing is powerful this is not even my message i, I don't know how i got here but this is powerful sometimes the lord just distracts us like that to speak to people it can be a prophetic word for someone that look 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 your journey of ever learning your journey of priding yourself with the vastness of spiritual information will full frustrate you because you will find out that someone does not have one tenth of your knowledge but the little he has was so sequentially arranged his life will show that he's growing properly So the average church member doesn't even carry a Bible again. What's the point? Open to the book of First John. You say, I know this is the record. Look, look at the person who is talking. He daily loads us with benefits. The person who is talking now does not have transport back home. Now, I'm, I'm not talking of initial. I don't ever blame any Christian when it does not have results from the instance. It is okay and it is normal but when you have dwelt around the place of light for a while and your life refuses to bear that witness 
then it's proof that something is wrong and we can easily diagnose the problem number one will be to check in the area of ignorance if we find out that ignorance is not the problem then number two we we'll check the quality of the information be careful less what you call light be darkness so you can call darkness light Isaiah chapter 9 when you read I think verse 2 or thereabout I can't remember it says the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light until the great light came they didn't even know that what they were walking in is called darkness it says that they who were of the valley of the shadow of death upon them a light has come we can be galloping in a lot of ignorance justified either by science or culture etc and believe that based on the abundance of this information we have light there is the true light that lighted every man there are other lights that cannot light any man they can light other things but they can't light men animals have a principle that they work with is that true most of the principles that the animals work with are not applicable to men the principle the animals work with is light but that light cannot light any man in their world and in their kingdom and in their sphere of reality remember all power belongs to god so the principle there is not an invention of science it is god's allocation that helps the animal kingdom to also behave well but because we are the highest of god's creation many of those truths they are truths but not applicable to us there are some of those truths that are applicable to us that's why god punishes foolish men by sending them back to the animal kingdom he said go and study my ways as given to the ants you are a lazy man you are a sluggard you are reducing yourself through laziness so i refer you to a lower dimension of my kingdom study the ants that they do not have a king they do not have this kind of organization so when you study you come back every time men refused to learn the laws of their realm they were degraded nebuchadnezzar was turned into what what was he turned into for seven years only his brain was left the brain of a man but every other thing was that of a beast and there was a lesson he refused to learn as a man so when he became a beast he learned that lesson at the end of seven years nebuchadnezzar wrote a sermon you should pay attention to he exalted the name of the lord are we together now they know not neither will they understand 82 and verse 5 of psalms they know not neither will they understand it says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course the next verse says have i not said or i have said ye are gods and all of you not some all of you are children of the most high the next verse is a tragedy it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes so the tragedy please hear me again sometimes there are times that it's just plain ignorance are we together but there are times that it is not ignorance it is the inability to sequentially arrange truth many years ago the lord did something in my life it's a personal dealing so it's not something that you can build a doctrine out of um the lord prohibited me from studying my bible for one week complete one week that's why i said it's a personal dealing yours may be an attack don't mistake in that what that it may be the same thing because god did not tell you yours is laxity that's why i said it's a personalized dealings satan uses words to deceive men ye are clean through the word that i've spoken to you for one week i did not read my bible not because i didn't want to i didn't understand the morale of the dealing until i was done 
and this was the whole object behind it the, the, the entire focus the entire objective behind it was to bring me to a point where i would realize that i was ever learning but never coming in experience to the knowledge of the truth are we together yes so i was getting you know those days well now we're still passionate about god but there's something about the journey of a believer it's like marathon once they blow the whistle on your mark get set ready sometimes you are even your, your blood is as hot as whatever go and you see someone running as if that is going to stop just at the door so that zeal that fire greek this concordance lexicon you know just study anything once you see a strange word ah pneumatology okay this is i should add this very quickly homiletics homiletics ah so we were just learning things that were just scattered revelation spiritual but scattered and the rate of change versus the the effort was not commensurate and it was a call for concern and so god was trying to save me trouble i would have been in big trouble now let me tell you why many christians are angry and don't believe that others are using god's power entirely i'll tell you why they are aware of the effort that was put in to arrive to to take one step it's like they did a labor of five years so when they see you soaring in the spirit they say something is wrong something is wrong i started learning 10 years seven years five years ago and you just came and right now in two years you are in this level not so one of the greatest blessings that can happen to you is that when you are born again god plants you under an anointing and plants you under a grace that sustains enough spiritual intelligence enough balance huh? spiritual intelligence and balance these two things grace and truth when it is grace alone you are in trouble when it is truth alone you are still in trouble it is full of grace and truth so when god plants you under a ministry or under a man of god many of us the real tragedy in your life was not the attack that came from your foundation the real tragedy now i say that respectfully was probably the spiritual system you were planted in when you got born again because your zeal made your heart open for any information unfortunately many of us received chaffs it didn't kill you but you were not healthy either Because the prodigal son ate the food of, of pigs. He didn't die. But you can't say he was healthy. That's how it is spiritually. Please listen very carefully. Shepherds can destroy people. How did Moses find a wife? Read your Bible. It was shepherds that came to drive the women. Remember. The family where Moses' wife came from. They were shepherds. The women would come to feed their cattle. And those shepherds would come to drive them and fetch water. And Moses came and beat the living daylight out of those people. It is important. There are shepherds that watch their flock by night. But there are shepherds that kill their flocks. He said, I will give you pastors after my own heart. Please listen to this because tomorrow you will be the one mentoring a lot of people. Spiritual growth is a school. It's a school with an exact curriculum. That God will help you. The sequential revelation of truth matters. It does. I'm telling you this. There are many things we know about God that are wrong. There are many things we don't know about God that should be known. The dimension of breakthrough you desire requires a certain kind of revelation. Light is the currency 
that we use to purchase spiritual realities i used to think is faith but it's not faith faith is simply the credit card that you use but what really pays for it is light It, from the abundance of these things then you will know who god is and you can worship him in spirit and in truth there are things you can know about god that makes you unbendable immovable nobody comes to sway you toe and fro with every wind of doctrine and the slight of men wherein they lie to deceive the bible says it's important now before i get to my sermon this is this i can't believe that i've still not started preaching look at these people please start look at these people which dimension of your spiritual life has not been arranged accurately there are people who are not even born again because you check the truths that they have salvation is not part of it they never got born again they were just born in a family just because you were not in a beer parlor does not mean you are safe so they started like that they started playing keyboard in church like this guy is playing now from keyboard he became um assistant music director are you seeing that now from assistant music director you became music director from music director you became deacon Huh? Yes. From deacon, they open a branch just when you are graduating and they call you pastor, whoever you are. Now, the truth is that whether or not you think you have grown, according to God's order, there is a pattern. God is a God of patterns. He's not just a God of motion. He's a God of patterns. How you move and how you grow will determine whether you will become that which is in his heart now this is the interesting thing about god even when you think you have been working with god like we arrogantly say for 15 years the day he reveals himself to you he will rearrange your life back and sometimes when he he rearranges your life by trying your works with fire it's in the bible that means you can see a lot of achievements and the fire of his light will come and all that will be left is your true state that means God will say you men say you are in level 5 you level 15 but really you are just at level 1 now you are at liberty to choose whether you will pay the price unashamedly to start properly with God or allow the ego that you have to just make you continue yes Lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord yes lord so men can call you MOG, men can call you deacon, men can call you this and that. But the truth is that if you are not growing and building according to pattern, I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but let me tell you, you are only wasting your time. When God comes, He never continues from where, what you were doing. Look at what happened to Abraham. When he met Abraham at all of the Chaldeans, this was his instruction. Abraham, come out of thy father's house and out of thy kindred. I hope you know at that time, Abraham was not a failure. At least he had some results. He had 200 plus servants. He had cattle. He had a number of things. And said, Abraham, don't think I'm coming to continue from there. I will start with you again. Let's start that journey. This is what brought some of you here. Some of you are already pastors, men of God, leaders. Some of you here were youth pastors before you got admission. 
you carried youth pastor mentality and just came and god said no way come and sit down and if you are not careful and please every pastor here this this are not vice don't just see someone come because they said he came from so 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 ministry or so 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 parish and in that parish he was the music director and you just say, okay no problem come and sit down and play keyboard and the guy comes with that celebrity mindset because in his church spiritual growth is not necessary in his church just attendance and loyalty is what is and, and sowing of seeds here and there but now this requirement requires you to sit down many celebrities get born again i mean secular celebrities now they get born again and come to church and then we just transfer their fame of the world and just add anointing on it not god you are joking not god mm -mm. not god not the god of the heavens when you come everybody starts from class one even jesus when he came the father didn't even pity jesus to say okay you are jesus i mean this is me he started right from scratch at age 12 i imagine what was in the mind of jesus when he was reading himself thou shalt love the lord your god and the rabbis were saying i hope you are learning it and he was just watching the force that holds what he's reading and not even jesus was promoted like that he had to wait at age 12 he was learning what do you think you are to just jump the steps favor does not jump steps so you hear that because our idea of shortcut must be balanced favor is shortcut yes but it is not shortcut to alienate you from information that you hear favor is a system that was designed to help you because men do not start life in an ideal way please listen if i was teaching our precious school of ministry students the graph of life yesterday the good old graph of life if you are not part of school of ministry join even if it's just because of that if you don't change after that teaching i don't know what will change you in this life again the graph of life are we together if i get born again 40 years how many of you know that i'm blessed but that's a disadvantage with respect to earthly time we don't have forever on earth now i got born again 40 years and someone got born again at age three who has more advantage than the other and don't say we are all equal you are not equal this guy has time time at age three born again at age four filled with the holy ghost at age five be mentored by a visionary father when that child becomes 12 he is now you of 70 at age 12 now listen let me show you listen listen don't just laugh let me show you the relevance of things like mercy favor these things are not just random things god looked at the way man works on earth and said if i don't add these other things man will never become the fullness of god's grace so here and there he interjects your work with life with these acts of his benevolence to help you this is where things like favor are important if you don't have favor in life you you will succeed the problem is you will only succeed if your life is ideal nobody's life is ideal including jesus they hid jesus because somebody wanted to kill him until herod died and he said okay now you can go there were things he would have been doing within that time Mephibosheth because a midwife I, 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 am I alone in this place this night Mephibosheth was a sincere person the midwife that held him was careless and because of her carelessness that guy fell down and broke his leg now sorry would not solve that problem because there are things he will never be able to do so how does God help this man's destiny by allowing him to live life the way it should be no so god introduces things like mercy thou shall arise 
and have mercy and looks at him God and he knows he looks at the way man should go and looks at the way man goes this guy was called to be a prophet to the nations this is his destiny are we together now according to God's predeterminate counsel the destiny of this gentleman like Jeremiah is to be a prophet to the nations but it so happened that the womb that will give birth to him married an unbeliever now listen to this I hope you know this is not his fault it's just that the woman that should marry him because she didn't have enlightenment or she was deceived or misled now God married to a non-Christian you, you, you get what I'm saying now this guy according to the blueprint of his life he should have finished his assignment at 70 if he starts his journey at one but because of what he has to fight an extra battle that was not in the original plan is now here and that battle is the battle of grafting him out of this family first and listen to me sometimes this gentleman has no legitimate ground to leave the house until he gets to university so his destiny will have to wait till what what age do you get to university 17. this guy has to wait for 17 years are you getting the point now because according to god's blueprint that is the safest way for him to live if he lives in a way that they, they can kill him and god for the sake of his destiny will not allow him that now while he's waiting for that 17 years his brain is not closed he's learning a lot of things he must undo because you cannot be in my house and not serve my god so while he's bowing down and doing all of these things heaven is bleeding because according to the blueprint by age five this guy should already be seeing visions but now the and satan when he peeps there satan will make sure that the clerics isolate this guy and further indoctrinate him to complicate destiny i show you why it's dangerous it's not enough to be saved where you are planted can determine how you grow please parents let me tell you something and even those who have children now don't sit down and say it does not matter where they hear truth it matters sit down and waste your child's time hearing nonsense wasting his time at the end of it you will find out that there is no sequential growth please listen i'm telling you i'm teaching something entirely different this is my note i've not even started but if this is how the holy ghost wants it this night i think it, this is this is a deep and mature teaching i'm i'm correcting the reason why the christian experience of many believers is just is just a buffet of frustrations i agree that an area or two of your life may be trusting be needing the hand of god but when every area fails something is wrong this one is no longer the law of process apostle nothing is working in my life i've been a christian from 2001 i tell you where the problem is i tell you and the problem is not only an attack an attack looks like the obvious reason but i'm telling you now there is no prophet no pastor no apostle that will just pray over the issue of attack alone and then your life changes no you want holistic growth we must do the diagnosis tonight to know what is wrong back to my story this gentleman is loitering somewhere very far from God and far from destiny are we together now he gets to the university after 17 years 17 years has been wasted when he gets there now the devil will try to do all kinds of things for instance the devil can ensure that his first CGPA is 1.2 1. point what who will listen to God under that kind of condition the pressure from life will make him say do you know what let me find a fellowship where in 30 minutes they finished now it doesn't mean please I hope you understand that I'm not being sarcastic to any the fire on this guy's destiny is being quenched because you you call it circumstances but these are intentional orchestrations and then this gentleman one day 
that's why inviting people to the house of god if you are sure of the quality of what you are receiving then it is evil to not invite people this is not the issue of evangelism this this you being an extension of god's mercy because the person you will be inviting you think you are just inviting you don't know you are acting prophecy imagine that this guy now is in zaria in this situation imagine what heaven would do to you as the person who holds his hand to insist he comes to koinonia you thought you just invited a man but you literally shifted a destiny literally because of one encounter are you with me this night now it's very important some of you are now seeing now do you know that heaven will rejoice when this gentleman comes you have invited five six people but all of them don't have the same destiny this guy ordained to be a prophet to the nations did you really invite one person how many people did you invite he will give you flimsy excuse excuses i've not eaten and the holy ghost will say feed him and you are like holy spirit what is all this one i don't have transport and you bring him now imagine that you bring him for koinonia and then i'm not ready working for others the moment you enter except your feet that something must happen and reduce you back to look like your parents You can choose to believe what i'm saying no problem i don't know who prayed for you before you arrived but let me tell you sincerely if you know that there was no salvation in your past please hear what i'm saying seriously and pay attention to it altars are wicked they are like time nothing can fight them they will move slowly unperturbed by your pride until they catch up with you hallelujah i heard of a man of god that bought truck this dangote truck they kept advising him to diversify and that guy carried all his money i don't know how much that truck is but it's so expensive the moment the person bought that truck I, I, he was coming along i think kogi or so the road that was how that thing just capsized it burnt in a way burnt everything inside and burnt everything about that man and the guy sat down and was almost killing himself who taught you what you know spiritually forget about the one koinonia taught you what is it resting upon because some of you this is why you are not experiencing the outstretched arm of god now i don't mean i don't mean i love the body of christ but i have to tell you the truth there are men of God and there are churches that are wonderful, but they are not healthy for a foundation for your spiritual growth. No. The context of what is taught is pungent and dangerous for your spiritual growth. Salt is good, but if you fetch one mudu of rice to cook and you fetch one mudu of salt to cook, is that a blessing? No. There are truths that are like salt. They are sprinkled and is enough. By the time you carry that truth, the same size of rice, and combine everything, you will deal and kill somebody. There are people, the sermons they had, is why they never saw the necessity of prayer in their spiritual work. Are we together? They came from a highly intellectual family. And you see people just laugh and say demons. The only demon you have is a demon in your brain and your mind. And the devil says, wow, this is wonderful. For the child who comes from the church, the house of an evangelist and a prayer warrior, that is a correct sermon. But for you who is coming from a foundation where they wrote your name, when they gave birth to you, while you were a baby, your head was inside water. And they were speaking nonsense to your destiny. And you believe you will just casually say, in Jesus' name, I'm born again. No, sir. The same way you don't say casually money come and it comes there are systems and there are principles the same way too if you are not careful you can be born again in a ministry that all they see is demons 
did you hear what i said everything is demons and then there is serious trouble because you will never have the enlightened mind that will keep you in victory your entire life will be full of warfare and fear because that is the context of the education that you received so when it's time to be responsible and understand the systems of the kingdom you will not so all you will keep doing in your life is to pray what knowledge should bring to you you are trying to get it through prayer are we together now when you should learn when you hear sermons like sermons on destiny help us sermons on excellence the law of honor you just ignore it and say all i know is that there is a witch in this family you will find out that even when the person you have been calling a witch dies you will celebrate and nothing will change because the issue of which was already settled but the remaining issues in fact the weightier matters that required spiritual enlightenment the person who mentored you did not call you to see the necessity it's a blessing to have a good pastor over you it's a blessing to have a man of god that can draw the boundaries that are relevant to your growth and construct you like a building i will give you pastors after my heart this is a mistake we're making in ministry now we just ordain people anyhow the moment someone looks handsome charismatic can dress well you just say come you are you are pastor this and that arrogantly stand on stage and confuse people at the end of it the people don't know what they believe again it's nine o'clock let's pray we can't hear this kind of thing and just round up we are going to pray seriously first and foremost hold the hands of someone and blast in tongues first to prepare your spirit find a neighbor and pray seriously prayer is not for prayer warriors prayer is for any man who intends to be changed to be lifted and to become great in life and destiny Pray, pray, pray. my christian experience must be fruitful i must bear fruit i must bear fruit i must bear fruit in my life Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray this night for your destiny. You are going to call it by name and declare that in this season, my destiny open, 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 open up. He said, Lo, I come. Please pray, please pray. Destiny in the name of Jesus be open. My assignment, my destiny, open up in the name of Jesus. No wasting time, no rambling around. Open up in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Outside, are you praying? Make sure you are praying from the depth of your heart. Shabarakata, emprakato shekete neke teke 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 teke, emprakato soto pakurakata pariyata. Open up, open up, open up in the name of Jesus. Open up, open up, open up in the name of Jesus. Open up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Please listen to me. You are going to pray. And you are going to cry to God. And say, Lord, every, every disarrangement of truth in my life that has been responsible for my stunted growth, I pray by the Spirit of God, rearrange my life, rearrange my destiny. What I have believed wrongly, correct it, oh God. I am open, I'm not a rebel. Let your emphasis be my emphasis. Pray. More than what a man of God said. Arrange my life sequentially. Arrange my destiny sequentially. Who am I to meet in this season? Who must enter my life in this season? Based on your arrangement. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Please don't think you are you are wasting your time. You are praying seriously. Now I say this with all humility. Listen, please listen. Imagine if till now I was still trying to hear God concerning koinonia. Are you seeing now? Imagine there are people according to the blueprint of your assignment. You are not supposed to be looking for money now. You are supposed to have it already because the next phase of your life is dependent on that supply. There are people right now at according to God's blueprint, the level of prophetic you should be operating in, it is required for the kind of assignment. But because you are still here, God cannot move with you. Hear me. Hear me. 
there are ladies according to god's blueprint you should be ready for marriage now based on the sequence of your destiny but it's right now you are getting serious with your life hear me hear me there are some of you according to the sequence of destiny it's you and your elder brother that should be standing as pillars but the devil killed your brother from bed that means you are carrying the burden of two people you need your grace plus the grace that will come on you else so when you pray one hour god will say add it to because you were supposed to pray only an hour because there's someone else holding it with you but he's alive and he's drinking around and God's agenda must move forward. So you must build stamina to be able to carry it. Listen. Listen to me. Please listen. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Don't think I'm just talking anyhow. Listen to me. Please listen. There are families, according to the design of God, you are supposed to be three men. But the devil made sure no man come to that family. It was later on you showed up sometimes as the last born and now you have to stand in a position of three men as one man there are families it's supposed to be you and your father and your pastor but now your father did not serve the lord or your father has died god will not change his purposes his plans can change but his purposes remain eternal listen listen there are families according to god's design you should never even try to say okay i'm looking for two or three jobs because according to that design your father should have been responsible to help you with an inheritance but now the devil hijacked that destiny and the way you are right now if you fail there is no more hope for your family because everyone that came to help the devil took them out of the way you know it i like you to pray and say lord i will not fail you and i will not fail destiny is someone praying lord i will not fail you i will not fail destiny if it depends on me then i will not fail if it depends on me if it depends on me to change the course of my family if it depends on me to enthrone Jesus over my family. If it depends on me, I will not fail. Someone pray. Pray with the picture of your loved ones in your mind. Pray with the picture of your children on your mind. Pray with the picture of your destiny on your mind. Shakatata. If it depends on me, I will not fail. It may take time, but I will not fail. Hallelujah. I wish you people knew that song. Atmosphere, shift now. Huh? You may not know it. I just, I just had that song in my spirit. I will not fail if it depends on me. I think about my life with all humility. And I think about the destinies that would have gone down even if I were born again and I refused to answer the call listen the next prayer point we are praying listen spirit of the living God if I am found anywhere that my destiny does not require turn me around bring me back to the place of destiny lift your voice and pray if I found myself anywhere that my destiny does not require turn me around please pray pray pray
align me to destiny align me to destiny align me to destiny geographically align me to destiny relationally align me to destiny financially allow me to align me to destiny spiritually Align me to destiny, oh God. Pray that prayer and watch your life change. Align me to destiny. Let me stop rambling around. Bring me to the place, the path of destiny. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. It was never my intention, never my intention to be in Zaria. It would have been the last place for me to think of being at this time. But you see, there's something about destiny. There are people when the devil wants to waste their time, they will get American visa and travel and roam around America. Just because you are making some money does not mean you are in destiny. Look at how God brought some of you here. God carried you from different places. It's destiny. Forget about the story that brought you. Align me to destiny. Let me not find... Listen, let me tell you this. There are people, when the devil wants to destroy their destiny... They will receive certain kinds of promotions you would think uh, is promotion is not wrong in itself but they will receive a promotion and become a ceo and that ceo will not allow them do and be certain things life is more than money oh. life is more than fame are we together next prayer point lord where am i supposed to have been in destiny that i am not I pray by the Spirit in this season, take me there. Take me there. I should not be at this level. In ministry, financially, maritally, spiritually, pray by your Spirit. Bring acceleration to my life. There is no more time to waste. The voice of my generation is crying. Speedy manifestation, oh God, of all that pertains to my destiny in this season. hallelujah hallelujah now listen to me the next prayer point i will have to teach you a little to understand covenants are systems of advantage please listen a covenant is more than an agreement it's a system that provides an advantage in life listen to me carefully you reign in life based on the privilege of the advantage that you have. Are we together now? Yes. Advantage. Every time you see anything that spells an advantage in the Bible, you must study it. Everybody rose based on an advantage. Joshua stood before Jericho helpless like any leader would be, except that he was standing on an advantage 
it was that advantage that brought the captain of the lord's army he said i am here daniel would have died in babylon except for the advantage he was standing on and based on that advantage gabriel came and said i am come to give you understanding and he understood the times that was allocated for the liberation abraham was standing on a covenant and so he saw in a vision that god's people would be in captivity for 400 years please listen to me this thing i'm teaching you is a deep teaching your destiny will remain on the ground until there is a system of advantage i repeat the knowledge of god is not based on covenant your spiritual growth but kingdom advancement and the advancement of your life and destiny is based on systems of advantage are we together and there are many systems of advantage i hope that in the coming weeks just brace up for the teachings that will come in the coming weeks because there are things that we need to learn an advantage there are systems of advantage listen to what haman when haman went to his family his brethren and haman told them he said look at what esther did to me they put their hands on their head they said haman you are finished this woman is a jew looked at him and said whose son are you not who trained you not what weapons do you have i need to know what advantage you are carrying to stand before goliath when he stood before goliath goliath said am i a dog am i a dog that you stand before me and come with a sling are you trying to catch a goat and david said you come to me with your spheres and your bows but i come to you listen in a name ah i wish we could deal with this because you see a name in the spirit is a revelation of a dimension of god god's dimensions are stored in his names i came with a name are we together now and foolish goliath instead of him to ask are you a jew he kept quiet what do you think made jericho to close their gate they said who are the guys coming to attack us the moment they said they were Jews, they close the gate. Close it quickly. We know these guys. There is a track record. There is a strange God that works with them. Ah! There are men who there are things they are standing on. And based on those systems of advantage, I tell you, they can fail in other things, not finances. No. They can make the most stupid financial decisions. Yet what they stand upon will bail them out. Have you seen families like that? All their children must be leaders. Must be leaders. It doesn't matter what happens. Whether it's a village school or whatever. The girl must be head girl. The boy must be head boy. In a class of many people. Eventually they will be leaders. When you say the jf kennedy family what comes to your mind there are families that are a dynasty it's not just business they were passing they were platforms whether with fraternity with satan or fraternity with god but there was a system of advantage i will never forget i've always been a very brilliant person i remember i was in js1 this issue changed my life i had always been the best student effortlessly the best in fact i didn't know that people used to read during exams nobody ever asked me to go and read if you were in my class just give up in terms of position you are wasting your time it's not only that i will take first the gap i will give you will make you not to come near me again and something happened when i was in secondary school the first time i was the best student the second term, I think I was the best student or so. But the third term, the guy that took third before, the parents moved to living faith. Listen, oh. They moved to living faith. It didn't reach three months. They did anointing service. 
for that boy straight when he came and wrote exams when that now this is not about first or second i'm just using it to explain something when the results came out and i looked at my results i looked at the guy it, it wasn't you know i didn't know what i knew now you can imagine a small boy i said no something is wrong something has to be wrong because my best performance was this point something has to be wrong that guy was his average was just with like five marks i said no there has to be a recalculation something is wrong and then i met him i said in the spirit of sportsmanship congratulations and he laughed he told me that they did anointing service for them in living faith i said what is living faith it was later when i understood i said ah i was standing on my brain he was standing on an altar listen sir let me do this come tell us your testimony now everybody stand and listen to this testimony go ahead um i am a pastor i was in mubi before we got transferred to abuja because of the distance and the financial constraint, we decided that my wife would not return back to school. So during uh, the last, uh, her second semester exam, she didn't go, and then we attended Koinonia, uh, the miracle service uh, last month, and then we the resolve that she should go back to school. When she returned to school, they uploaded their results. Lo and behold, she had results. And all of the results were A, I mean B. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, you, you, I, I called him out so that he would talk. This is a pastor. She didn't do second semester. Or, or what second semester? Semester. Because of, listen, because of financial constraint, which is justifiable. They now came down. He relocated. And then when all of that happened, he now planned because he had been, had been in touch. So it's not something that we're just talking had been in touch this is not a license for laziness no it's just showing you that there are possibilities that's why i said the prayer i want you to pray now if i don't teach this you will not understand it woe betides a man who stands alone listen bishop Oyedeko. listen one man of god in the south south he was about to start ministry and then he went to bishop Oyedeko for prayer and advice as you know they were releasing him and bishop oedipo spoke to him in yoruba i wish i'm a yoruba person he said never fight alone that's my advice for you never fight alone i show you why many people continue to fall victims in life so the plan was that they will go back and then let the wife now register now that god has helped them things have started changing i'm explaining the story for you they now went and said okay let's see how far as they printed results second semester result a and b parallel that's what came out as the wife's result this man is a pastor he has a congregation he's a spiritual father to many he will not come and mess up his integrity and he said, this is a father with a wife and children. Listen, it is not to endorse laziness, but it's to let you know that this kingdom is a compendium of possibilities, limited only by your spiritual understanding. God bless you, sir. We are going to round up, but let's. We are going to pray this prayer systems of advantage abraham was an idol worshiper from a place called or of the chaldeans chaldeans were were idol worshipers they were necromancers when god called him out it still was not enough god met him and said i need to enter a covenant with you if i just call you and i say let's go to the promised land you will still die i have to provide a platform that becomes the basis of this new order 
Are we together? Many of you do not know that the secret to the future, you've heard me say it, is in the past. Before you move forward in life, you have to go backwards. Please hear what I'm saying. All these names that we have given this phenomena in life, they are, whether you call it failure at the edge of breakthrough, whether you call it spirit husband, whether you call it spirit wife, whether you call it rise and fall, all those are invented names. That's to tell you many people are having the same experience. That's why they could receive it and understand. The teaching that I did, the mystery of deliverance, part one to four, that message has delivered people until we stand before God to see how many people were delivered. When truths are taught with imbalance, it can destroy. Listen, there are things that God does for the sake of the fathers. There are things that God does for your own sake. Did you hear what I said? There are some of you now, you are in certain levels of blessings and favor. And in the name of honesty, you have nothing to do with it. Maybe your mother used to cook for pastors. Listen, no. Before you were born, your mother just said, me, you am not a woman of God. But all I keep doing is if there is any pastor, I will make sure I cook for them. One day, she cooked for a man who was not a pastor. She cooked for a system. And he swore a blessing and said, may your children be great. Now listen, that looks like a pronouncement. It's more than a pronouncement. And now you showed up. And when Satan is supposed to destroy you, between you and the destruction, the pronouncement comes in between you. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my mouth. The same way, Noah looked at Africa and cursed Africa and said a servant of servants shall you be as born again as we are that curse is still in place today now people are following from America and the rest and I don't mean to insult you but you see the level of spiritual depravity that is in America the decadence right that when you put sex on phone male of or on a form male or female it's not only male or female that is there now male female and then some others yet in the midst of it you expect god to be angry and stand up and say america your glory has been withdrawn <laughs> every time he wants to do that someone's prayer stands every time the coming of Jesus was about to be delayed. The prayer of Anna the prophetess stood in the realm of the spirit. Maranatha, come, come, come. I told you about my life that my mother prayed a prayer and had an agreement with God. She told the Lord, she said, Lord, my own father was a pastor. He died serving you. He said, please use either my brother her younger brother now or any of my sons to continue let it not be that this spiritual heritage is lost she thought it was just a casual prayer and then i showed up innocently but something was a system of advantage there are some of you today you don't have any past you don't have any bad record it's not because you are a nice person you are one of the most loose and careless person but simply because there was an ordinance upon your life that prevented all sorts of evil from happening to your life because of the destiny attached to you let me tell you this 
you have to know the systems of advantage that God provided are we together the Yoruba people were given a grace upon their minds it's a grace God gave that territory a grace now what I'm teaching you is truth from God's word that the Yoruba people as a nation were given many graces among them was the grace for the prophetic the eyes that see not necessarily hearing but the power of sight which was an extension of intellect is a grace please listen to me let me show you mysteries Igbo people were given the grace of courage and creativity is a grace that was given that you can drop an Igbo territorially is a grace any poor Igbo man you see is a lazy man because they already have an advantage listen the north and that includes the middle belt the grace is the grace of leadership and governance it's a grace this is what the northerners take advantage of they study these things they don't just come out for election they know that we are standing on an advantage these are ordinances my brothers and my sisters in mount zion the side of the north the city of the great king are we together now leadership so many times when god wants you to be a spiritual leader listen carefully no matter where you are in your voyage you must touch the knot no matter who you are listen carefully this is where bishop oedeko started from this no matter who he will rout you because you must drink of that grace how do i explain this thing are we together when you say evil people like money they don't like money it is an advantage that has carved out a niche for them governance there are few men of god who now lead the body of christ who do not have an affiliation with something that brought them to the north notice that God, when God wants to announce you in Nigeria, you must touch Lagos. If your feet does not touch Abel Kuta and Lagos, you cannot be global from this country. Whether as a secular artist, I think we'll just end for today. It is those who have the eyes that see, that know. Many of you don't know why God carried you and brought you to Zaria. It's not just because of Koinonia. It is because these are the systems of God. He will bring you and you make contact with the possibility that he planted within that territory. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, the, the systems of advantage that you have provided for me, I walk into it. I walk into it there is a heritage that we have a territorial heritage an intellectual heritage a spiritual heritage
Are you praying? For you, I want to know your heart. I want to know your way. Yeah. One more time, sing. Oh, Lord, set my life on fire for you. For you, for you, oh Lord, oh Lord, set my life in order, set my life in order for you, for you. I want to know your Hallelujah. Listen. Please listen. We're rounding up. I want you to get tonight's teaching. Please. I'd like you to give tonight's teaching to anybody you find. And tell him, please. Please. Listen. In fact, you can tell him it's a birthday gift from apostle to you. Take. Listen. This is not the kind of teaching... That you hear tonight and say wow wonderful <clears throat> this is the kind of teaching you will sleep and wake up with there are many things i have said that you did not hear but i guarantee you that if you understand what i taught this night there is no limit to your life you can take advantage of everything around you every territory has an advantage you can tap into the advantage that comes with it your church has an advantage your soil has an advantage your family has an advantage i know your father was a herbalist and a priest but that is the corrupted destiny of a prophet there is still an advantage that can be seen and can be activated. Hallelujah. This is how we grow in the kingdom. We don't just grow by will. We don't just grow by luck. Listen, let me tell you this. This night, I just chose to show you these are the things that work in the lives of extraordinary people. It's not just that things are working anyhow. No. You see all this anointing, the power of God breaking out anyhow. It's not. There are systems of advantage. Your life must learn it. You must know it. And you must know how to engage it. Every Jew in Israel knows he cannot fail. Born again or not. Meet any Jew. Put any Jew to be a board member of your company. And you watch what starts happening. No matter how foolish the decisions are. The wealthiest people in America today are Jews. The greatest brands in the world today, they are Jews. There is a history to the things we see. There is a reason why Boko Haram thrives in the north. They go outside the north, they will fail. North is the seat of governors. There is an advantage in the territory. They know this by divination. The East is always a place associated with wisdom. The Magi, wise men came from the East. It's true.
the wickedness came from the seat of governance Herod wanting to kill Jesus so it should not surprise you that terrorism springs from the north the seat of governance and strangely enough the place that also looks like the seat of governance is also the place where revival arises hmm. that is the reason why you see the moves of god ministries like koinonia all these things are not they are not guessings they are pieces of a divine puzzle <laughs> are we together many of you are looking at me dumbfounded let's round up by one last prayer father in the name of your son jesus christ reveal to me every advantage that makes for my excelling in life from scripture from the ministry that i am under the grace from christ himself the chiefest of all advantages reveal to me let me know what i stand upon and the possibilities that are associated with that covenant god is saying if my power does not come your direction something is stopping it faith faith blind bartimius would not shout if he did not believe jesus would heal him he heard that this man could heal and although he was blind he said thou son of david he never called him jesus that's a revelation that's a revelation all those who knew jesus never called him jesus they called him by certain names thou art christ the son of the living god son of david have mercy upon me are we together now so once you are here seated you didn't come for church you are the one who knows the fire you left to come here let me tell you how to respond and receive number one you have to be convinced that god is able and willing to step in step in now you may say man of god you don't know how many men of god have prayed for me let me teach you something about miracles there is there is a dimension of the grace of god you only experience when you find a man that is sent to you listen very carefully there were many widows in Zarephath and I'm sure those widows called on the God they knew but to none was Elijah sent the Bible never said the widows were not taken care of Elijah was not the only prophet so other systems were designed by God but as far as the widow of Zarephath is concerned one of the greatest testimony that can happen to a man is to discern the anointing that can solve your problem that a man is anointed does not mean he solves every problem no sir no sir there were people jesus was on earth he did not touch them it was when the apostles received the holy ghost they came back and met those people and the, the apostles touched them paul who was saul was on earth but the earthly ministry of jesus did not affect him it was till jesus went to heaven and then he had several encounters and came so that a man is anointed it will be arrogant to just guarantee and imagine that everybody will be touched by your anointing it's not true these are very deep spiritual mysteries jesus said john 17 listen to what he said he said all that you have given me that means there were some that were not given they were given to his salvation but not his earthly ministry they were given to be benefactors of his salvation as the lamb of god but they were not given to be partakers of his earthly ministry all that you have given me listen he was giving god a report he says all that you have given me i have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition 
and it's not because i was careless he was lost so that scriptures might be fulfilled people of god i want you to believe god and trust god tonight if you carry your problem and come and carry your anger and annoyance anger does not give miracles oh my stupid husband my stupid wife no you are going to come with your heart open and say lord i know i know it is within your power and you 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 are receptive receptive to prophecies receptive to instructions receptive to the move of god that when his power comes close to you you know that lord this is it i've gotten my miracle testifying is not magic you program your spirit to be a benefactor the anointing of the spirit can come and pass a place and you can stand as though it never located you is that true but there is a way you can position your spirit it's called faith first your conviction a, a sense of certainty that God will touch me the program was tailor-made I was talking with the protocol while we we're coming and I was telling him that from start to finish of our programs especially the miracle service everything is designed to make sure that your miracle does not escape you from the opening prayer to everything to the nature of the prayers the miracles then prayer requests then everything and then still after the service i stand to see people is is a design to make sure that everybody receives don't let the devil mock god in your life you are going to insist and say lord i believe you lord i believe you now let me tell you something with satan because satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh he knows that the way he destroys your faith is to supply informations around your life that are very obvious is that true right now you are sitting down then he uses the pain and he says tell me man or woman of faith is it no pain you are feeling now and then you are tempted to say but it's true tell me man or woman of god is it not your rent issue you left at home is the landlord not waiting for you at home when you hear that kind of thing it just agitates you but people of faith say uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. i choose to believe it is in the believing the miracle will come i'm not ready to be distracted now it is in the believing that the miracle will come every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear. Tonight in this place, there are people who are afflicted by all kinds of diseases. Some of you have had medical reports. Some of you have spent money in the hospital and it has become clear. Some of you were even recommended by doctors. We thank God for the caliber of doctors we're having now. They are spiritual people. Once they try once, twice, it's them who will advise you and say, we will not stop you. But Mr. Man, find a man of God quick. Are we together now? There are people here sick with all kinds of oppression. Benihim calls sickness death, limited death. He calls sickness limited death. That means if you are sick, it's like a part of you has already died. And it's true. There are people here with all kinds of delays in need of major breakthroughs. Not everyone here is sick, but there are people in need of all kinds of breakthroughs. There are people here, and many people do not know that the causes of their challenges are oppressions, demonic oppressions, demonic oppressions activities of spiritual forces in the lives of people programming repeated cycles of tragedy programming repeated cycles of tragedy 
There are people tonight in need of supernatural solutions. Solutions that only God can give. Job issues, promotion issues, health issues. All kinds of issues. It's not called a healing service. It's called a miracle service. A miracle service is an atmosphere where the multifaceted possibilities of God are allowed unrestrained. It's like a feast. If you are sick, then there is a dimension of him that can address that. If you are not sick but oppressed of the devil, there is a dimension of him. Now, it's important for us to understand how God answers prayers. Because many of us have been praying. We have prayed here over our issues. There are many of us, what you need tonight is prayers and wisdom. That is the answer that you need. Wisdom. You may not be sick, but a lot of your decisions may not be accurate. And you will need a supply of wisdom or higher wisdom. Number two, there are people tonight, the miracle you need is grace for obedience. Grace for obedience. Grace for obedience. That spiritual inertia, that reluctance to rise up, responding to your conviction, is what has kept many of us where we are. There are people tonight, your prayers will be answered to deliverance. There is no discussion. You don't need counseling. You need those spirits out of your life. And the legal basis, not just the spirits out of your life, but the legal authorization that keeps them in your life, keeps them in your family. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is healing for your body, healing for your soul. Do you know, years ago, I didn't pay so much attention to what people call emotional healing. I felt it was very feminine and for lazy people. Most, I, I felt any serious person needed physical healing or spiritual healing. If you needed emotional healing, you needed orientation too, but it's not true. Um, emotional healing can be more painful than physical healing. Are we together? The Bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones where the life of a man is carved out there are people in need of all kinds of healing there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is repentance and forgiveness that's how God will answer you you need to forgive and you also need to repent that's your miracle service tonight there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is prophecy. You need a prophetic word. You need a direct prophetic word that addresses your issues. No long story, no discussion. Alongside the creative power that flows through prophecy. Pay attention. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is an impartation of favor. It's very clear that the favor came into your life you would not be where you are. Favor. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is a direct impartation, greater fire, greater unction, greater activation of the gifts of the spirit, greater activation of, of a higher capacity for spiritual things. There are people tonight, your own miracle service is an introduction of the mercy of God over your life and situation. Everybody here will receive tonight through one or more of these means. A supply of wisdom, grace for obedience, deliverance from spirits, healing, Repentance, forgiveness, prophecy, favor, impartation. Your assignment is to be sensitive 
to when your word comes you see that like the lady who was already shouting while the meeting started something is already happening to her you see god is already doing his business with her for someone in the overflow you may be in maybe overflow three overflow three the fence is covered and they almost cannot see me directly except through the screen doesn't matter the only thing you benefit standing close to a man of god is convenience in the realm of the spirit it doesn't matter whether you are here whether you are outside whether you are online whether you are in any nation doesn't matter the time zone the most important thing is when your faith can connect to the anointing then a supply of the power of god comes your direction tonight brothers and sisters i present to you a god who is almighty tonight i present to you a king that can heal that can change situations the bible says where the word of a king is there is power i present to you one who is not limited by our situations i present to you one who is loving enough to respond to you i present to you one who loves you enough to change your life i present to you one who can give you value for your time spent in his presence god is not a herbalist god is not a prophet he walked on the earth and manifested those things but he's god almighty i want your heart to be open tonight especially if you are here for the first time you may have come gone through all the rigors of the inconvenience to position yourself somewhere you must open up your heart to receive we have prayed we've partnered with god and god is ready to deliver that which is your portion in full in full in full not part of it remember the negotiation that pharaoh wanted he wanted to broker a negotiation and said let your wives go leave your kids behind and and moses said no way that's not what god told me everything must go plus animals so you're going to insist tonight that even if it's your hair falling god must come in and touch it don't say it does not matter why believe god in one area and not believe in another regardless of the area it is still the power of god that will solve it don't trust god to heal your body and then not change your financial situation no don't trust god to step in and deliver you from oppression and then you go back sick again do you believe tonight that the lord is going to step in and change your life truly speaking let me tell you this god has granted me the privilege to walk in dimensions of his anointing it still marvels me after many years of working in the anointing how the anointing works it's still a marvel to me at how when the power of god truly locates someone how his life changes overnight overnight except it's not the power of god that meets you you won't know it will change all of a sudden you will see doors open my elder sister shared with me a testimony today she probably might be following online something that god did in her life and i'm not a very emotional person but i was almost fighting tears i says god already first of october a strange these are the these are the these are the kinds of miracles listen these are the kinds of miracles that when you hear if only one of it happens per year you are happy major miracles that can shift your life i said lord thank you because my family members are also partaking because they have to believe too that they are my family members does not mean they will believe automatically no the brothers of jesus kept watching him and he said don't be watching no release your faith some of you here are sitting you have cried in the secret you have cried in the open let this be your last cry are we together only god knows the pain that some of you are seated here with the level of pain you are you are seated that, see this is why we fast and pray and prepare because we will be wicked to allow people come some of you started your journey since last week you have come to come spend time spend resources no this is not a cinema hall this is not a place of games some of you have carried sick people some of you have carried sick bodies 
there is a God that can reward there is a God that can reward please hear me I may not claim I know everything about God but I know this God enough to know his mighty let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life. If it's not there, everybody will know. When it comes, we will also know. There were things that were not in my life years ago. When it came, I knew to the degree that brought it. Listen, tonight is the ministry of the spirit. I told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result. It is the, the, it is a how shall these things be? What is the dynamics? He said the power of the highest. That's how it happens. It has never changed. It is always an encounter with the anointing. Your, the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing. It is never faith that moves God. No. Your faith connects you to the power of God. Tonight I came with an anointing. There is enough grace. There is enough anointing. I tell you this. There is enough anointing if you will believe. There is enough anointing. Your situation is not the first. Your situation is, the, is not the first. Your family situation is not the greatest. There is nothing new under the sun. God's ability is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's working in me. Hear me. The solution to your problem is in the anointing. Seek an encounter with it. When the anointing comes to you, that's the answer. That's the answer. Listen, listen. When the anointing comes your direction, that's your answer. That's God answering your prayer. I'm not talking about falling down. I'm talking about an encounter. The answer is in the anointing. Your faith only connects you to the anointing. Your life can change in a moment. Your life can change in a moment. God is a prayer answering God. He answers prayers by releasing his power. 
he sends his power through his word in the direction where it is needed and received needed and received in the spirit and the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed delayed by the power of darkness I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay bring them out I stretch my hands delay you come on that judgment you come on that judgment delay delay I stretch my hands all the overflows online anyone here any family under the spirit of delay Bring them out. Sakoto Shabariata. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The fire of God. Breaking the chains of delay. 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 Chains of delay. Bring them out. Wani kamar dakai, Delay over, over forever. 
There is an anointing. I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers. There is an anointing. I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Breaking now. Breaking now. Breaking now. The covenant of delay. Shakatatata. Reketoko Sotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three. Please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building. Just look at me on the screen. Because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three. And I want to pray for you. Overflow three right now in the name of Jesus. Right where you are. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the number 24. 24 people right at overflow three. The Lord is breaking delay. Breaking delay from them. Breaking delay right now. Breaking delay. Hallelujah. There are still people. Listen, I want you to believe in what God is doing. I want you to have a testimony. Without an encounter with his power, it will just be a religious service, I promise you. And you will go back. It is the power of God. The power of God is what draws the line. Hallelujah. Delay. Delay. God is not yet done. Where is that family, oh Lord, that nobody has moved forward? I'm seeing delay. Don't worry, God is coming in. The anointing of the Spirit is looking for a family. There is a family. There is a family. There is a family. Shakatosete. Shabrata skatapareketa. They are here. There is a family. Jesus. Shokos ketetosia. Help this woman. Sheketos keleketa biata tosikata. There is a family. This is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast tonight. There are many things to do. I want you to be sensitive. The Lord is showing me a vision now. And I'm seeing a grave. I'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave. And I'm seeing an angel of the Lord pull it out. And the Lord is saying, this was done against a family. Lord, where is that family? Right now, I stretch my hands. Whoever programmed the earth to fight any family. Tonight is a night of resurrection. Soketos Kariatata Paroto Sotokos Eleketoke Sedekotos Priakatas Kotariata Tosia Eketos Koliadada. I decree and declare, let it come out now. Let it come out. The breakthrough of that family, the healing of that family, the miracle of that family. I release it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting seven stones. And the Lord is saying these are tight destinies. This is the whole destiny of a family. Seven of them. 
But may the sword of the God I serve Shakotos Kata Shapras Katakosia Braketo Toto Tete Ele Katos Keta Broskia Rakata Batos Soteriata in the name of Jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight hallelujah I'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of Jesus Christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus Christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance. I command deliverance right now. Shakato skata. Lekata koto soto priyata. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what years some of them connected to families and the lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands i want to pray now i believe in deliverance I really do. This mama, there's serious witchcraft in your family. As I'm praying for you now, I'm seeing a rope. A rope. I'm seeing a rope. And the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free. I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time. Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing? No. It is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down. That's what I want to do now. I want to pray. Listen. Many of you inside, many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but I want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what I'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you, you would have come to waste your time. Let me tell you the truth. It is when those forces leave your life. Families here. Spirits have sat on the destinies of families. Do your worst. Go to school and come back and meet us. Get a job and see, come back and meet us. Marry and come back and meet us. Kata Are we together? It's time for them to go. Lift your hands, everyone. I want to pray for you now. I'm going to command those devils to leave you. Listen, it's not a suggestion. They must go. They must leave you. Are we together now? I'm praying for you. Please, now, because the ushers are doing their best, the protocol is doing their best, but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people 
I see a lot of wild spirits, wicked, ancient spirits. All shapes and all sizes, they must go now. Just one instruction. I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice. Now listen, don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you. It doesn't mean you are possessed, no. That's a different thing altogether. Some of you, as you are here, you are representing your family. Nothing may be wrong with you as a person, but because of your family. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed this place as a place of fire, a place of grace and deliverance. There are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages. And in the name of Jesus, at the sound of my voice, may your voice be in my voice. May your grace be in my voice. I send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three, anyone that shouts that name, let there be deliverance right now. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils. Go now. Go now. Ancestral spirits. Spirit husbands. Spirit wives. Yokes of darkness. I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ancient spirits. Spirits that have been generational. Familiar spirits. I command you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm seeing a number of ladies. There are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams in the name of jesus where are those ladies fire is looking for them now i separate you from those spirits i separate you from those covenants i separate you from those ordinances any man any woman any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come God is about to change your story forever. I don't know you, sir, but I want to pray for you. Stand up, please stand up, sir. I'm looking at you in a vision and I'm seeing you are not alone. You came with some people, your children, one, one child, your son, eh? Only you? No, there's a son. Where is he? Come, come and stand. Daddy, I want to pray for you. That this life of hardship God wants, please stand up, please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir, this is your dad I want to pray for you you came believing eh? August, is it Augustus I'm hearing the name Augustus Augustus, is it Augustus is it Augustus, Augustine, something Augustus, please if that's your name let me just talk to you quickly I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much, we want to pray for the sick I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that my sister come this lady this one not you you are not a woman my brother this come lift your hands shout over, over. forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family it's over in the name of Jesus Christ sir 
if you have never believed a man of God in your life, what is about to happen to you? There is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son. And I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus, over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and prosper. By the anointing of the Spirit of God, go and prosper. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time. Gabriel, Gabriel. Is he Gabriel? What's your name? Huh? Augustine, come. You are Gabriel. Why is he here? Augustine, I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. Is that... Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there right now in the name of jesus i'm seeing fire coming on you and the lord is i should tell you he's taking something away from your stomach that's what is happening right now in the name of jesus i command that thing to go now my brother there is oppression there's a spirit that you need to be delivered from right now in the name of jesus i set you free by the power of the holy spirit out now of his life and his family help two of them God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Yetu. Yetu. What is Yetu? I'm seeing why he... Is it Y E T U or Yetu or Yetu? Something like that. Yetu. Something that has to do with Yetu. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Yetu. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Yetu. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Yetu? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But yet I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend. Look at me. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. 
there is a copper something is coming on you my dear let me pray for you don't worry if i if all i do i i just lay my hands on you um it, it doesn't matter please why are you here you are gabriel gabriel in the name of jesus christ let me pray for this guy god is giving you favor great favor great favor in the name of jesus christ there's there's bad luck in your life and your family but it's going now in the name of jesus christ it's going that's why you're here gabriel Aleku, is there? This is like an idol. Aleku or Aleku? Eh? Aleku, Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? He said, "What?" Why are they coming out? What is why you? They named somebody after the idol, and the Lord is saying, "Who, who is the person? Whose name? This is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State, but the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale Ale Ku was Ale something like that. Ale Ku also. Who is this? Huh? What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God. You'll be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shakato Totokata, Reketo Skote Satariatosia, Leketabosh, out of their lives now, out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical university. I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. Jumai, Jumai. Jumai, is that your name? 
well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai, I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than older than old. This is hundreds of years old. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying now. I use you as a point of contact. I command that spirit you must go now. Hallelujah. Please just allow me. This is Juma, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, right now in the name of Jesus, there is disfavor in your life. Anybody who plans to bless you, something turns them away from you. Anybody who plans to bless you, something turns them away from you. I hold your hands and I release you right now. In Jesus' name. I want to pray in a hurry. There is a family. All the men, it doesn't matter whether you are hardworking, whether you go to school or not. But the Lord is asking me to pray for that family right now. Lord, where are they? Shakataba rota keyadaba. I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside outside under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now Arise now, Shekoto Sokoto Paka. The men in that family arise now. Arise now in the name of Jesus. There's somebody here, you lost your job in the month of March. March, you lost your job. Please, where is that person? You were working, but in the month of March. I want us to hurry up. I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time. The month of March. I don't know if you are, except if he's a person in his family, maybe overflow tree. Then they can just locate him. You lost your job. There's something. You lost your job in the month of March. Where is that person? Please, quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You are a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you will get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where have you been praying for? Huh? Sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. Same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people, and since there was nobody to stand for him, they joined everybody and threw them out. But in the name of Jesus. Whatever should not leave you and left you. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. Hear me. I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come. 
Well, stand up, sir. You were outside? Yes, overflow three. Overflow three? Yes. You sir. lost your job. Where were you working? I'm working in a hospital. Which as hospital? an accountant. Which hospital? Tukutuku Medical Center. So that, you see, we don't ask this question because we're prying into your privacy. I hope you're not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job. Back to that place? No, 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 no. Another job, sir. Another job? Yes. Do you believe if I pray for you, God will give you a job? I believe that. Do you know why I'm prophesying to you in the open? So that you will testify in the open too. What's your name, sir? I'm Paul. Paul? Yes, sir. God will give you a job, eh? Amen. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. Listen. So when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You will go and return with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We're coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get a chew to Mama, I want to get a chew on you. I want to get a chew on you. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression, let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting crowds, out, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. In your name. That girl, look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, 
we take our time we you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time our time is very limited praise the lord now this is what we are going to do um while i give you the prayer request please listen carefully those please listen carefully i want to pray particularly particularly no matter what overflow you are in if you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb don't come now but when it's time to come i want you to come i want to pray for you by myself but any other issue those inside i want you to come stand here and then parts of overflow two maybe half of overflow two can join them now overflow one please you go to your projector stand overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three if god grants grace and there's time i'll just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together overflow three move to your projector stand hallelujah and we're going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you are in overflow one two three wherever i like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting god for a miracle i want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers number two you're going to be praying the prayers that i'll give you while preparing our faith and then number three will come out is that all right praise the lord so let's do that very quickly very quickly please you're trusting god or you came with a sick person now is your time to come out please quickly 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 jesus we bless you i don't know you reign Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts, is what we've come to do. Casting crowds, we are lifting hands, bowing hearts, is what we've come to do. It's in your name. in the name of Jesus I command that spirit to leave her now leave her now in the name of Jesus can you lay your hands on her Jimmy just on her chest or anywhere just touch her there in the name of Jesus I decree I curse that spirit you go and you go forever in the name of Jesus now this is what will happen please we are going to be very fast we have to be fast you see that there are lots of people uh, our miracle services if you came with someone uh, just be patient we are going to attend to them praise the Lord thank God we have uh, we have many hands and by the grace of God we'll coordinate we'll make it very fast ushers please be collecting the prayer requests if your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly and she can join the queue just keep them somewhere i'm going to lay my hands on them praise the lord how many overflows do we have there's an extra overflow i see by the road it has spilled over maybe overflow four you can uh let's see ah, we have to be fast praise the lord okay this is what will happen um pastor jimmy will be at the overflow outside here pastor alpha you'll be at the overflow here benga you would go to overflow three um, 
Is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father, we agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles in Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We will need more hands. I don't know if we we'll still have people. I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship him. You're going to give us, we're going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do what only you know how to do. Come and change master free. Give me a testimony Do what only you know how to do Can I hear you say do what only you know Do what only you know how to do Can you lift up a voice and say Do what only you do know Do what only you know how to do Hey, I'm a change change my story do what only you know. Do what only you know how to do. Somebody say, Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. I say, Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. How to do. Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know. Do what only you know. How to do. Do what only you know. Do what only you know. How to do. Somebody say, Do what only you know. Do what only you know. How to do. My trust is in you. Hey, the ancient of days. My trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. I own of Judah.
Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. Say, oh, I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. Yeah, I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that tonight is my night of testimony. Lift your voice and begin to pray over your request. Lift your voice and begin to declare. Prophesy. Tonight is my night of testimony. Shaka toko to preketekata. Shaka paskata preketekos. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit families. There are still more that should come quickly. Ha po koto pro koto sekete malalaba. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh. Kadosh, you are mighty on your own, mighty in this land, mighty in this land, mighty on your throne, you are mighty on your throne. Are we In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. There are things written here that except the writer, if you read it, you won't even believe that it can happen. But I pray, the God who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request, a representation of every man's pain here, I call on that God, answer by fire. Answer by fire. Father, there are issues here that are impossible with men. Some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I prophesy. Let there be strange miracles. 
Strange miracles now. For all those connecting from whatever nation, in the name of Jesus, we agree with you here. The same fire that is on this altar through the internet to your various localities, you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus. Every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted, we force them from their hiding places to appear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever must die for this request to be answered, in the name of Jesus, the ground opens and swallows them. Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted, we seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify, may God answer their prayers this night. The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood, human blood. But in this vision, I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on. Over people. It's for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity. Clarity. God is answering questions now. By the anointing. If that fire comes on you, you are receiving direction right now. Clarity. Clarity. All the overflows. Clarity. I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? Should I start the project or should I stop? Every confusion and anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery divine recovery let me tell you something whatever leaves you can come back to your life are you hearing now there are people who have lost things I'm about to call it into your life now and as that anointing comes on you just know that is your time of recovery Lord where are they where are those who have lost things that need recovery shakata kata kata Shakata kata kata proskete kata everywhere everywhere 
everywhere inside outside outside the grace for recovery the grace for recovery i release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you i told you god answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction that collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah i'm seeing a strong man in four families that god is clearing out of the way listen listen i don't say things like this lightly but i'm seeing at least i'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they shakatos keta brakatos kakatekatos inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory i clear them out of the way now listen you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service like this mama you see that the devil wants to kill this woman with cancer eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her your mother you are the ones who brought her hold the mother and two of you come you two of you need deliverance first leave mama come come and stand someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit i've prayed for her but i'm looking i'm this is this is your mother two of you i want to pray for you eh what you need i know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer but for you god must heal you first you will need deliverance eh i'm not saying you are witches but i have to pray for you this is the instruction god is giving me father in the name of jesus you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother but satan has his own plan for you in the name of jesus Kai. wickedness is real i held these ladies and the lord showed me a vision i'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and i'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision but in the name of jesus i don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't like the prayer point, say amen to the one you believe. But my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist, this is someone's destiny. These people are here. Oh, I'm praying. You may not even know you are the one. I say it again. Whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name? Whether it's your marital destiny, whether it's your breakthrough, 
in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man who say now who say now who say now who is that please let her come please quickly you are who say now what's your name huh? who say now I want to pray for you eh? I'll pray for two of you but you are the one I want to pray for what's your name from where what state are you from FCT. you are from FCT do you believe in favor shout it no, you are not shouting you have shout favor in the name of Jesus Christ I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you favor who say now I want to pray for you you are who say now to madam please come you too is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself you are, you are who say now to I'll pray for you but this is the lady I want to speak to you love Jesus with all your heart I want to pray for you God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family major breakthrough I lay my hands right now and I command it. let it happen right now in the name of Jesus where are you from my dear Jalingo Taraba in the name of Jesus the Lord gives you a miracle now in the name of Jesus let me pray for you every bad luck must live your life now eh? every bad luck must live your life I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go this lady only bad things look for her there are people like that when good things come they just turn there is a spirit that turns it away everybody is getting a job something that is simple when is your turn let me tell you something hardship is not poverty hardship is a spirit you get things but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years it's hardship it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now you can't go give god glory under that kind of condition simple things you ask somebody out i want to marry you they answer you after four years it's a cause are you are you a demon it's a cause you start a building project you finish after 10 years it's not a blessing a hard life is worse than poverty this is what the devil has put on the life of this lady I, I take it away now in the name of Jesus and I use as a point of contact if there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening shakatos katapakata in the name of Jesus I command whatever it is let the fire of God come upon it now let me pray for you man in the name of Jesus I lay my hands upon you and I release favor in the name of Jesus favor I'm seeing someone you are into printing please let's hurry up we have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing you print like um, posters whatever it is you design you print banners please who is that person I want to pray for you you are into printing uh, I will pray for you but the person I'm seeing I'm not saying if you want to do it if you are currently doing it you are into it for how long? Since my, my childhood, sir. I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina? Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here? I'm serving in, in Kagzara. Because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police because the person will say that he went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? 
Books every day in every place. Books. You yes. too. Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are signing for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? Huh? He stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you work there now. It's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for me now. I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. 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 You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see him no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed, you look smart, eh? you are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. It will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It will be difficult for you to get many good things. <laughs> Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house... Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray it. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are into printing too? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you sew clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time. This is from April. Everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Yango. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what ha then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. 
if you did something wrong and they pursued you when you come here you ask for mercy you don't complain even if it's my shop and you don't do well i will drive you everybody wants to succeed so let's let's be very honest when we are before god praise god when you are before god if you tell the truth that's even what will provoke his mercy you understand if you if if i employ you don't be embarrassed my dear but if i employ you and you are not bringing me anything and i'm paying you why won't i downsize and drive you so don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you i'm not seeing the person as a wicked person no something happened and it's your fault eh you need the mercy of god and god will help you don't make it you see that if if it's not revelation now you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked my prayer for you is that god will bless you too huh but please don't be angry i'm not seeing that person that person did exactly what i would have done father in the name of jesus show your daughter mercy if you need mastery may god improve your skill may god improve your value and i pray for you in jesus name god will not leave you hungry the god we serve will change your story tonight in the name of jesus you experience his mercy you experience his grace madam you are a tailor where samaru market. samaru market you have your shop yes sir i want to pray for you yes sir you're a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need... You are a very good tailor. I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I, I'll send some people. That's what I'm saying now. Yes, and there's problem now. They're even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish and now the person is really angry so these are some of the things we are talking about as god steps in let's allow his mercy just tell them sorry because you i want you would have been far more than you are now but there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory hold my hands you must go now to draw from you again again yeah. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We're praying for people here. Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there, you are ashamed. You understand? Sana, please. You are a student and you are doing it. You people too, you are tailors. See, the tailors are now coming out. We'll pray for your business. Please, all tailors, do a good job. We believe in excellence. Don't say, I'm praying for you publicly. It's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes. Do a good job. Praise the Lord. Do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students. 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? I'm a student. Oh, you are a student? Yes. In the UK. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor? In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady, there's oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. You didn't come out for tailor. You came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the tailor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing... Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. 
it's not our fault it's a spirit be free now look how many people are holding one lady in the name of Jesus I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit let me advise you if you want to enter a relationship pray if you want to marry pray you listen to what I'm telling you you see the body of Christ we don't listen and we do I'm not saying this lady is a witch please don't get me wrong but I'm saying you should pray now I'm not condemning her but imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady and you married last week you see this if this lady is angry that spirit will manifest no matter how strong you are she will beat the living daylight out of you when that spirit leaves her she will tell you sorry and then it will come back this is what God is helping us to solve are we together now imagine you're a customer and just because you gave her 10,000 you insulted her when that spirit rises she will tear your clothes or beat you Lord Jesus we invoke your mercy upon her in Jesus name madam you're a tailor too where judge judge I'll pray for you you're a tailor too where you're in natural state in the name of Jesus may God increase you I speak to your business let it increase experience increase delay lives your life in Jesus name I pray amen if you're in business please lift your hands I want to speak over your life please believe the prayer I'm praying for you there is an anointing that makes people prosper why are you here you are tailors you are all tailors what do you mean you are tailors this gentleman you are a tailor too okay please come you would have come out since so that our time you know our time you are all tailors you are a tailor too I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please don't don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you, are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor you see some of you don't look like tailors you are you are not you are not dressing like tailors this gentleman is sharp and smart he looks like a tailor Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand if you are a man of God you show it by the anointing if you are a tailor if you are a public speaker you show it by accuracy of communication if you are a tailor you are marketing your products at all times you don't say come to my shop no if I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you're a tailor or not, after this you don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs, you are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? There are businesses that are demonic. Writing exams for people. Writing jam for people. Writing, I will never pray for you for increase. That's not a godly business. Business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband. 
somebody's wife is not a good business. Prostitution, not a good business. Dirty business that has to do with ungodly things, no. No, sir. Let's be very sincere before God. But I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart. The power to prosper. The grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Listen. Please, I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you. And watch what God does. Some of you, you don't have any clients. You don't have any customers. Some of you overnight. Just by this prayer. By miracle service October, it will be like a dream. I prophesy to you. Some of you, you have the ideas. What you need is capital. I declare, let somebody rise up who is willing to help you. in the name of jesus christ some of you what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field so that it will open doors for you may someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you in the name of jesus christ some of you are trying to sell properties there's nobody to buy but if someone comes to buy it god will use it to honor you i call somebody to buy it now in the name of Jesus. Now I prophesy favor on everyone. I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow. One, two, three, those following online. The kind of favor you have never seen in your life. May my God make it happen in your life now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Esther, the village girl, became Esther the queen through favor. Ruth, the hungry woman who was about to die, became Ruth, the wife of Boaz. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but the favor that would change your story in one month, I release it to you right now. I release it to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman there please there are people from January till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open I open that door for you right now I open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks, you are back again. I set you free right now. Help that. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel. No love. No joy. When someone is about to rise, a troublemaker comes. I declare. May the Prince of Peace May the Prince of Peace step into our homes now Step into our families now You are beautiful, you love God You are a well-mannered lady, no husband I'm led to pray this prayer. You don't hear me pray it all the time, but I decree and declare. Every lady here, ready for a relationship, a godly one, I call your husband to your life now.
every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of jesus the god that can lift a man from a dunghill may that god lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle i release the finisher's anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ all those writing exams shakatos prati alakatos in the name of jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well i release it upon you right now in the name of jesus christ all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of jesus we give you admission here i don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it There are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is anything that has refused to come to completion in your life i re i release upon you grace for completion in the name of jesus the last prayer point and we are done give me two minutes i need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with God, but right now you need prayers. You need serious prayers. Prayers, zero. Fasting, zero. Word life, zero. Passion for the things of God, zero. You are not bad, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here overflow one overflow two overflow three take a fresh fire for your work with god take a fresh fire for your work with god hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with god and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, i've been praying but i've not seen result and you stop i release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting god as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting god it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from god whatever is drawing you away from god i call starting now listen we are rounding up god and prosperity can go hand in hand god and marriage can go hand in hand whatever must make you leave god to get it is of the devil may it live your life forever now keep your hands lifted the last prayer point god is looking for men and women of the spirit simple one minute prayers that will change your life now lift your hands i want to pray for something to come upon these hands listen Mm. there must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry this is a supernatural ministry this is a ministry of signs wonders diverse manifestations 
I will not end this meeting without this impartation. I'm praying now at the count of three. Let an unction, let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand. One, two, three. Take it now. Healing anointing. Take it now. Prophetic mantle. Take it now. Grace for signs and wonders. Receive it. May your hands become healing hands. May your hands become miracle hands. Deliverance hands. Favor hands. Hear me. The grace to win souls like never before. I know it's old school. I'm both old and new school depending on the one that does not work so winning is never old school the bible says he that winneth souls is wise i pray for you grace for a dimension evangelism through signs and wonders receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now The last prayer for you the mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries i lay my hands on my head and i prophesy to you carry that anointing right now carry that anointing right now experience strange levels of honor in the name of jesus Father, we give you all the praise. Every expectation you brought here, whether I mentioned it or not, I'm agreeing with you now. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Those of you who came from far, before you get to where you came from, you will collide with miracle after miracle testimony after testimony hallelujah if there is anyone here in ministry a man of god a woman of god you have a fellowship you have a church i pray for you the fire that is here carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah everyone keep standing you are here our time is gone everyone please stand you are here you are worshiping with us for the first time overflow one overflow two and inside this is your first time please make your way here overflow three just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me let's honor them koinonia quickly <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you who continually invite people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of god to people when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take out Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget 
to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye